Welcome everyone to another extreme off road silly build and today we're dealing with a 1949 Mercury Coupe. It has an 832 horsepower, sorry, horsepower, 7 litre V8 and it weighs 2881 pounds. This could well be a surprise because yes it's old, yes it's not meant for all wheel drive, it certainly was not meant for 832 horsepower and it certainly wasn't meant for a big 7 litre V8 with a supercharger on it either so yeah. It could be a surprise, but also it could be a gigantic mess. So uh, yeah, let's see what it can do. I'm not having any uh, expectations at all in terms of handling. Could go anywhere. The awful could be good. Had a bit of understeer there, but cured it with some throttle. I to say, I think the soft old suspension is helping in terms of the bumps. As you can see, once it hits, it doesn't bounce back up again at all. real test. Pretty much perfect. Oh, this likes to drift when you uh, get it into a right corner, right? Certainly handling the power alright. I mean, it's not sh supercar quick, but not slow even. This is handling jumps far better than cars that are even made for doing this kind of course. Turns out to be a rather good drift car as well. Well, it's not the quickest time we've had by any means, but then again, it's a car that's like 60 years old or so, so yeah. It's rather good, really. It's much better than I was expecting because of the age and the fact that it was never meant to do this kind of thing, let alone have all the uh, upgrades that has been given. So yeah, rather good. It's beating cars that are either way faster than it or are built for actually going off road. So yeah, a uh, yeah, big surprise. Not the quickest, like I said, but still a surprise nonetheless. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.